What's going on you guys, Frost here and I'm back with another guide. This time we'll be talking about Shivana Jungle. The following subjects will be mentioned in this guide. Champion Description Abilities Leveling Order Runes Masteries The Item Build And ending off with the Jungle Routes. If you want to go to a specific subject, you can click on it right now. Champion Description Shivana is one of the fastest junglers in the game and because of this she will also scale very well into the mid game very quickly. Because the faster you can farm, the faster you get your items. Also Shivana's damage is split into magic and physical damage making it quite hard to itemize against her. But her damage is more magic than physical. If you like a very farm heavy style jungler that scales really fast and really well, Shivana is definitely the champion for you. Her first ability, Twin Bite. Shivana's next auto attack will strike twice in one swift movement. The second auto attack will deal physical damage equal to a percentage of her total attack damage. Both attacks will trigger on hit effects. In dragon form this will become AoE damage to the target hit and the ones around that target. This skill can be used as an auto attack reset. Also the cooldown of this skill is reduced with 0.5 seconds every time Shivana auto attacks a non-structured target. Her second ability, Burnout. Shivana surrounds herself in flame for 3 seconds, dealing magic damage that scales with AD to enemies around her and gaining bonus movement speed. The bonus movement speed is decreased by 15% of its original value per second. Burnout deals 20% extra damage to monsters. While active, Shivana's auto attacks will deal 25% of Burnout's damage per second as a bonus magic damage. In dragon form, this skill will also leave behind a trail of fire for 5 seconds. This deals the same amount of damage as your Burnout does. This is Shivana's main ability for clearing the jungle camps and minion waves. Also, it's great at keeping up with enemies. Her third ability, Flame Breath. Shivana unleashes a fireball that travels in a line, dealing magic damage and marking enemies hit for 5 seconds. Shivana's basic attacks against marked enemies deal bonus magic damage equal to 2.5% of their maximum health, capped to 100 damage against monsters. This skill is what makes Shivana great at objectives like Baron and Dragon, and killing enemies insanely fast, because every auto attack will deal the additional 2.5% damage based on their maximum health. And with one auto attack and then the instant auto attack reset from the double proc to your Q, this will go very very quickly. Her fourth ability, Dragon's Descent. While in human form, Shivana passively generates fury every 1.5 seconds. Shivana's basic attacks generate two fury. Upon activating this ability, Shivana transforms into a dragon and dashes towards the target location. Enemies along her path take magic damage and are pushed towards the target location. Don't underestimate the amount of damage this skill does, as it can really help you out in the heat of the moment, because it also doubles the armor and magic resist values from your passive. Don't be afraid to use this skill regularly when it's up, because the cooldown is based on your fury, and you will get that back up to full in no time. Leveling these abilities. On level 1 I take my W because this gives you the fastest initial camp clear. Then I take E on level 2 because this together with your W will shred your buff camp in a matter of seconds. On level 3 I'll take my Q to have all the skills and make me able to auto attack reset. Q is also a double proc so this means that you can auto then Q for a triple E damage hit to destroy your jungle. As far as maxing goes, I max my W first for the added AOE damage and the movement speed increase. I max my E second because maxing your Q is pointless and all you need is one point in that skill and for that reason I max my Q last. Of course, you take your R whenever possible. The runes. I take 9 attack speed marks, 9 armor seals, 9 scaling magic resist lifts and 3 movement speed quints. I take the attack speed marks because Shivana's Q cooldown decreases with each auto attack you do. I take 9 armor seals to survive the early jungle damage. I take 9 scaling magic resist glyphs because this helps you be more tanky in the late game. And I take 3 movement speed quints to stick to your target better and also to have a faster jungle clear. The Masteries. I take 2190 on Shivana, taking all the means of increasing my damage in offense. I don't take Warlord though on Shivana because you don't build that much AD so this doesn't help you. And in the defense tree I take health regen, flat health and monster damage reduction to help you out in the early game. Also a quick FAI with the new defensive masteries, instead of taking 2 health regen I'll take the 2 points into slow reduction in the first rank. The item build. I start with a hunter's machete, 2 health potions and a warding trinket. After my initial clear I go back and buy stalker's blade along with some boots. I get Starker's Blade because Shivana has no CC, so this will help you stick to people much better. The first item you want to get is your Devourer Enchant to your jungle item. The reason I get Devourer is because Shivana's Q makes it double proc. 
Also, it gives attack speed, and this is what Shivana needs to get her Q cooldown lower faster. Another reason is because Shivana farms insanely fast, meaning that you will get stacks easily. After your Devourer enchant, you want to start building into a Blade of the Rune King. Getting your Cutlass first, preferably. This is so you can use it to slow your enemies down to be able to hit them and kill them. After your blade, you want to finish your boots. I get ninja tabbies 99% of the time. You can also go merc threats against heavy CC, but honestly, if they use their heavy CC on you, it's kind of fine, because it doesn't really matter. I just like ninja tabbies on Shivana because it allows you to tank a lot more damage. After finishing your boots, you want to start building into a frozen mallet. The reason I get frozen mallet is because it gives you a lot of health, making your passive more effective and offering you to slow on every auto attack, making it so that your enemies have a much harder time to get away from you. After mallet, I start building some resists, getting this in the form of Randuins and Guardian Angel. After finishing these items, you will be full build. But when it gets to this point, you should sell your boots for Triforce. I got Triforce because this item offers you the movement speed increase to make up for the movement speed you lost from selling your boots. Also, it is a really, really really nice damage increase. And finally, if you're really far into this game, sell your Devourer. Even though you might have like 120 stacks on it at this stage, the reason for this is like Devourer falls off late game quite hard and you need to be more tanky for the amount of damage being poured out by the enemy. So sell your Devourer for a Thorn Mill. Swap out your Trinket after finishing your jungle item and then upgrade it as soon as you can. This will help you out in ganking, you can clear wards the enemy places and create more pressure that way. If you're against full AP, Randowins becomes a spirit visage. Now, let's say you become instantly fed in the early game. Getting a good amount of kills and farm. Then, this is what I do with my build. I still get Devourer Blade and Boots in the same order, but after that I'll rush a Triforce. This will allow you to deal a lot more damage in the mid game, and will make it so you become a giant threat. After that I'll get my Mallet for the same reasons as before, building this into a randoms, and finally selling my Boots for a Zephyrus. Now if you were to get to the late game with this build somehow, because this build is the build you go when you're extremely fed, then just turn it into the build I first discussed. The Jungle Routes. There are a few points I'll tell you about jungling Shivana. Firstly, the way you want to clear your camps. You start with your E from range so they all group up together and move towards you. Positioning this E will take some practice and you can also see me do it in the video. After this you will activate your W and start auto attacking. Right after your first auto attack you will instantly use your Q for the reset and double proc. If you use this instantly the rest of your autos will lower your Q's cooldown for you to use it again faster. The main thing you want to smite on Shivana is the ground buff or the red buff if you need extra health. Gromp will increase your overall clear speed and damage in ganks, so this is the most useful. The next point I want to mention is ganking on Shivana. Try to start ganking after you've bought your Stalker's Blade, as this will help you catch up to the enemy and slow them for a bit to either exhaust them or just kill them. Without the Stalker Smite and pre-level 6 ganking with Shivana is a big no, because they can just simply run away from you and that's not what you want to happen. And the last point I want to mention is Dragon Control. Shivana has one of the fastest dragon clear speeds, so try to make use of this. You pretty much have to do this because you need to make up for the lack of ganks you can do in the early game. Thank you guys so much for watching this guide on Shivana. If you have enjoyed this video or learned anything from it, please click that like button below and share it with your friends. If you would like to see more videos and guides from me, don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave suggestions on what champion you would like to see a guide on next. Have a very nice day and a lot of fun with this Shivana build and I will see you guys next time. Bye!